You're listening to the Incomparables Total Party Kill podcast, in which a group of friends play Dungeons and Dragons on the internet for your amusement. This is episode number 375, Aglath's Angels, season 6, episode 7, recorded April, posted December 2022. Lava Hurts. Welcome back to Total Party Kill. I'm Scott McKelty, a dungeon master, and you are back on the blood-soaked sands of Athos. That's right, we are joining those lovable misfits, Eglat's Angels, in their continuing adventures under the sands of Athos, actually. We've been under the sands of Athos for a long, long time. Uh, now let us meet our adventurers in no particular order. Steve Lutz, Hello. Hello, Scott, a dungeon master. I am uh, Steve Lutz, a player, and I am continuing to play Kachka, a three cream bard. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Nope. All right. Got nothing I'm more to add to that. Oh, I was I was waiting, and then disappointed. Erica Ensign is here. Hello. <laughs> it's Hello. The story of my life. <laughs> uh, I play Zotasha, a tiefling mystic who currently is flying with actual wings. Ooh. Tony Sindelar, do you have wings? Uh, no, I don't. I'm you just, should have a Red Bull. Mm. 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 <laughs> sponsored. I don't think this episode is sponsored. No. Uh, but if it was, <laughs> insert sponsor read now. Uh, you guys I know play, Red Bull. <laughs> I play Regdar, the, uh, the guy. Uh, level 9, human. That's all. Glad to be here. I totally know how to play Dungeons & Dragons. I haven't... Uh, I'm not just a Dungeon Master. I'm a oh, full I was going to say... I, I'm in charge now, Tony. I don't... I cast spells? I don't know what I'm doing. Continue. <laughs> oh, Sorry, oh. Scott. Jason, Aline was Sims. Red Bull one of Dan's many dead characters? I don't remember. <laughs> yes, the Minotaur. Red Bull. I think oh, you're okay. thinking of Red Bull. Red Bull the centaur. <laughs> That's his brother. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. Sure. He had to take over when Red Bull died. Uh-huh. Mm, oh. mm. Hey, have you ever oh. had the clam oh. chowder in the Red Bull? Mm. I, I haven't finished introducing people. <laughs> 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 Aline Sims is uh, patiently waiting to be introduced. Thank you. Mm, yeah, um, mere moments ago, I want to say that one of my um, cohort here accused me of being human, and I take offense to that. <laughs> um, but I play Shara, who is not human, the Air Genasi rogue, uh, who is currently in a pit of lava, um, or a lake of lava, I guess. It's, it's, it's full, so it's not a pit. Um, and there's something tentacled that has grabbed Ooh, me. Yes. So this is, this is going to be an interesting thing. I have plans. Uh, um, <laughs> I have Morin. thoughts. Dan Morin has probably neither thoughts nor plans, but does his character. Oh, no. Absolutely not. No. I'm still on the sponsor read. I'm thinking about how maps are all spaces full of squares. You guys know Squarespace. Oh. Um, Build uh, it, beautiful. <laughs> Drag and drop. I got a little familiar there for me. Um, I play Amlal, the Goliath barbarian who has no thoughts or plans, but does have hopes and dreams. <laughs> oh, that's nice. And last but certainly not least, Mr. Jason Snell. Hello, Jason. Hello. I am playing Carlos. He is a, uh, a mull gladiator and likes to run and hit things. And you know him. You, pr you might love him. You got to watch him or he'll <laughs> run away and do things you don't like. That's I try. So we find our adventuring group uh, in the uh, cult of the fire uh, elemental kind of elemental node where they are trying to summon forth their patron and your group is attempting to stop this from happening. You've uh, took an elevator up and down for a while. You crossed a lake of lava, killed a giant and made your way into another room that you are currently in that has kind of a small causeway. There's a gong in a lake of lava. Uh, on the far side to the north is, is a lava waterfall of lava that's feeding into this lake of lava. And when we last left off, uh, a lava spout appeared about 45 feet away from where you folks are, and these fiery tentacles erupted from it and attempted to grab some people and uh, sadly grabbed Shara and uh, pulled her into the lava. And we left with uh, me, your dungeon master, poised to roll damage, and I have not rolled damage yet. And so now I shall do that. And then 
dear players, we shall roll initiative. Mm. Uh, and so, initiative. you, uh, Ashara, you, uh, as the tentacle wraps around you, because it has grappled you, in fact, you take five points of damage, and then it pulls you into lava, which is mm. not great, uh, and you take some more damage. Now, if you have any fire resistance, that would be useful. <laughs> I don't know if you do or not, but uh, just, you know, a pro tip for you me. would like to grow some, you could do that right now. 25 points of damage. Yikes. Yikes. Glad we took that rest earlier. <laughs> and um, we should probably roll initiative now. I rolled very poorly. Everybody and apparently initiative. I have no inspiration, so I can't reroll. Oh, I, will just I don't know if I've ever heard anyone use init- uh, inspiration on an initiative or roll. I mean, you really got to right go first. Now, I, I feel like it would be really important for me to because. I understand. I'm just saying that was, you know. <laughs> All right, so we are uh, now find ourselves in initiative, which means Katja goes first with uh, her uh, impressive roll of 22. Hmm. 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 Umlal also had do? an impressive roll of 22. The same thing, Scott. Jeez. Yes. I, well, it's not your turn yet. I can't. I didn't. I only compliment people on their turns. <laughs> hey, Scott. Oh. I have a question. <laughs> roll for compliments. <laughs> Yes. Um, my token is still kind of where I was when I was being pulled oh. into the lava. Can Good you call. help me? Oh. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, pulled way out there. Yep. Yeah, so you are, uh, well, probably we'll put you there. Okay. And you are currently oh, wow. grappled. I was, I was picturing her being all the way over by the uh, molten magma roper. So this changes things. It's true. It is a roper. I think you've all, I think these I characters can read. have we encountered We made all the three companies yeah. jokes last time. Mm-hmm. Oh. Has that ever but, stopped you people? <laughs> <laughs> the problem is there's a long time between uh, sessions, so sometimes yeah, we have to retread true. some ground. Sometimes you have to knock also, on our door. Also, it was like after we stopped like the official recording that we started oh, making. I see. Oh, that's right. We started we, workshopping them. Well, so. when you come and knock on their door, <laughs> they'll be waiting for you where the lava is here and here and here. Magma Ropers too. <laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> I hope there aren't two. <laughs> I mean, also, Meg, I, T-O-O. Oh, 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 got uh, it. It's friends call it the MMR for short. <laughs> Kachka. <Gotcha. laughs> <laughs> what would you like to do? <clears throat> so the, the, the magma roper is uh, about 45 feet away from you? 40 feet. Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> I could probably incapacitate this thing with my hypnotic cube, but that is a third level spell, and I feel like we're going to be encountering some things up ahead that are. And is shower tough, really so worth a little third level spell? That's it. what you're thinking, isn't it? And actually, well, I, would, do I would anything, say the third level. I've sure, been led to understand that Zotasha has some great ideas. And yeah, well, I, I, I was going to burn something uh, really big, thinking that Shara was all the way over there and like mostly <laughs> under lava, but ah. I still could. So Shara is actually further in than I uh, first thought. So there okay. you go. That's where she is. Yeah. So if I do cast Hypnotic Cube and it succeeds, then we've got a minute to figure out what to do. And that doesn't seem like nearly enough time for us to figure out what mm. to do. <laughs> <laughs> I have no problem with that. It could just be me. I mean, some of us can probably fly across this lava if we can figure out where we're going, but uh, I don't think that applies That's to everybody. True. Well, and- so if if we can, if you can get me detentacled, mm, I don't want to say that. If you can get <laughs> <Too late. laughs> can get me ungrappled, I can levitate, uh-huh. so I can at least get myself out of the lava yeah. and away from the monster and then maybe Zatasha can come get me and maybe we can go like yeah i was just gonna check out the gong out on there. the way or something yeah like yeah whatever um so really i don't know i feel like just getting me out of the grapple situation is the big thing yeah but... i've only got one means of doing that though and that is to hypnotic cube this thing and so okay. i'm just gonna go ahead and do it okay so uh I cast Hypnotic Cube around the roper, which, if I can find the spell in this pile of spell, Hypnotic Pattern, rather, which is a cube. So, you know, it it's could right. be called it's Hypnotic like a cube. cube. They chose to call it Hypnotic Pattern. I'm not sure why. It could be cube just as easily. Um, but yes, a twisting pattern of colors in a cube shape uh, mm. weaves around the roper, and he must make a wisdom saving throw. And this is a saving throw against Charm, and since I'm using my Cletar, it has disadvantage on a save. All right. 
Okay. Uh, wisdom saving throw, you say. That's what I say. All righty. Well, I don't say that. The, the player's handbook says that. <laughs> well, there you go. I personally I, would have let you do maybe uh, intelligence. Oh, thank you. Constitution, uh, even. <laughs> That's very nice of you. I got a 10. Oh, okay. Well, that is substantially less than the 17 you needed. That's true. So the roper <laughs> is now incapacitated. Can't take actions. Uh, and will be for, I believe, a minute. Yes, yes, the creature becomes you... charmed for the duration of the minute. It is incapacitated, has a speed of zero, which it already did. So it cannot take actions or reactions. I don't believe that necessarily degrapples the begrappled Chara, but... It uh, does not. So somebody's still going to have to do that. Um, but and I will I let should. everybody know, do not we... damage the roper or it will wake up. I was just going to tell people that. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got an incapacitated roper. Umlal. Helen. Uh boy. And so Kachka, you see these these weaving patterns surround the roper and Kachka yells out, Don't hurt it. And Umlal uh pauses for a second. It's, it's trying to... is what I do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um so this is a great question, because what would it take to free Shara then without hurting the roper? Is such a thing possible? Uh, sure. It's a it's a, a contested strength check, right? So you would need to get your something around Shara to pull her out. And there's nothing. I assume there is nothing in the in the lava that is a surface upon which one could stand. Uh, can your character stand on lava? I guess, but only for a limited amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. And if I you mean, drop your keys. It, Forget them, man. They're if gone. the roper is not gonna do anything, we have then no time pressure immediately. Yeah, then so. we might be able to. Like, I'm wondering what, what, like, where exactly are we trying to go from here? Do we want to get up that water, that waterfall, that magma fall? <laughs> you don't is know. There, is there something up there? Like, what, what can we? So, from your angle, you can see. So there's definitely a chamber up there. You can't really see much into it, but you know there's uh, okay. there's an opening, and the the lava is yeah. I don't know how I don't know how we're cascading there. down. Um, because yeah, we were coming over here to investigate, but it looks like this ledge just sort of peters out here, and there's doesn't. not no one's anywhere. banged the gong yet, right? Go correct. <laughs> so, uh, and has anybody gotten it on? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just my thought was if I could fly up. Uh, how high is the uh, is the falls, or is it falling down from where uh, we are? It is falling. No, it is falling down to where you are. So okay. it is uh, ten feet tall. Because I could fly up, see what I can see. If there's an island or something there, I could just teleport all of us up there. That would be cool. Nice. That would save a lot of trouble. <laughs> Yeah, the that's, gong that's might what I'm also thinking. cause some steps to pop up or something, or because... another floating disc thing. Or something. yeah, I was mm -hmm. thinking right. the same thing, some sort of or more lava. Advance. Yeah, I mean, if somebody <laughs> wants to shoot, shoot something at the gong, I will and see happily what ring. I have nothing else to do with my turn, so I will happily ring the gong if that's the thing that we would like to do. I mean, it could make things colossally worse, but maybe not. How much yeah, worse could it get? No, why would you? <laughs> how dare you? Uh, all right, Alma dares. will run over to Regdar, having seen the gong and is now super excited, can think of nothing but ringing the gong, and will hurl something from his inventory. <laughs> There's probably rocks around or something. You just throw a rock. Uh, it's either that or a tinderbox. I don't know. <laughs> probably no, have some... a tinderbox near the lava. <laughs> yeah. the, the gong of is, you can... He's throwing everything from his inventory. Bedroll, explorer's pet, hunting trap, mask. <laughs> Just like I keep trying to hit it. Uh, yeah, I'll throw, a, I'll throw, I'll throw a rock, Scott. What do I have to roll for that? You hit the gong. All right, and, uh, There is a loud rever reverberating sound that you feel can be heard about a hundred feet away. You feel uh, that? Me did that, <laughs> and nothing happens. Oh, uh, oh that was a, a great use of a turn. <laughs> It is the Roper's turn. J.P. Morgan, you ain't. Cannot do anything, so it doesn't do anything. Regdar. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick perception check to see if anything has happened vis-a-vis -vis the gong. 
Um, okay. Oh 11. yeah, since we rang the gong, I should I should point out, and I think I said this last time, but I will tell you again, Scott. I have uh, right now. I have what's called perfect senses, so I have a keen sense of smell and an instinct to detect prey. I can see invisible creatures and objects within ten feet of me, even if I'm blinded. So just in case something invisible popped up within ten feet of me, I would know. Quick question: Why are the rest of us here when Zatasha is clearly <laughs> handling this entirely on her own? <laughs> I mean, I feel like we're mainly here as impediments. So that can, can you know, <laughs> I think if it was the is. Erica and Scott show, they would have they would have wrapped this up in about a week. I mean, I'm going to run out of side <laughs> points eventually. <laughs> no, we're here. We're what's called narrative padding. Um, wow. Okay. Yeah, so I, uh, I rolled an eleven on perception. Do I see anything? It is very hot. There's a roper. One of your friends is uh, drowning and the in a lake is of still lava. Sleeping such that I don't want to, uh, or uh, hypnotized or whatnot, such that damage to it would it not is, be. It is charmed. In fact, now it's to... it's difficult to see where the roper is because it is not moving. Yeah, um, and so you that, you that kind could of be think... a stalactite or a stalagmite. Um, exactly. Yeah. Well, you it know, I'll tell you, Regdar is built for a variety of situations. Helping somebody out of lava is not one of them. <laughs> uh, Regdar will use minor conjuration. Use your action to conjure up an inanimate object no larger than three feet on a side, no more than ten f- towns in your hand. Regdar conjures up a life preserver and tosses it in the general direction of uh, <laughs> of Shark. <laughs> Of is it All made right. of asbestos? Yeah, it like is, it <laughs> is made of, more. It's dark sun, so probably I just assume everything is made of a little bit of asbestos in, in dark sun. Dark, it's asbestos uh, and sand people all the way down. Um, it, it immediately combusts. Carlos, what would you oh. like to do? Eh. Um, Carlos readies an action to attack anything scary that might magically appear in front of him. Otherwise, he will pass. Right. Carla uh, has sure. nothing to contribute. Oh, uh, that's not true. Shara, you are right. you are surrounded by lava and incompetence. <laughs> the lava <laughs> is new. Just worse. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's not true. You guys are handling this very well, so I, I will take that back. It, it's su- <laughs> suspicious competence. I don't understand what's happening. That's why I can't. can't. We turned over a new rock, Scott, and it had a roper <laughs> underneath it. Oh dear. <laughs> turn it back, turn it back. Uh, but you are, you're grappled, so you have this tendril wrapped around you, and you are um, kind of sinking into lava. <laughs> cool. N- not great. Yeah. Uh, all right, so you said contested strength check. If you want to break out of your grapple. Okay, yes. let's try that. Uh, give me a strength check. It's actually not contested if you're just trying to break out. Oh, how's the 20? You uh, manage to... Get yourself out of the grasp of the tendril. Okay, cool. Um, so you wiggle free, but you are still currently in lava. In lava, yeah. Uh, Can you levitate? I, I'm just looking. I think it's an action. You could just yeah, start swimming. it's an action. Alas. And I would say oh, swimming. swimming through lava is difficult terrain, so you're half speed. Well, um, you should are we be able to get to the edge in one turn. Two, three. Yeah, I could get to the edge in a turn. And somebody else could yank you. Do it. Yep. So, yeah, assuming that each of those is, uh, each square is five feet, I can get to the edge. That is a correct so, assumption. Um, I will swim over there. And I think that is the entirety of my turn. And you take 32 points of damage. Oh, my lord. Cool. I am unconscious. Oh. And burning alive. Oh, dear. <gasps> mm-hmm. In a lake of lava. Oh, actually. I missed one. Uh, 39. <laughs> <laughs> this changes everything. I'm still unconscious and burning alive in a lake of lava. I fell into I'm a stickler. A burning lake of lava. Uh, but you are your 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 hand is 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 grasping out, and then you you slip into unconsciousness, and you are slowly a, sinking into thumb, the lava. A thumbs up, though, on the way <laughs> <That's right>. down. <laughs> Shara always has a positive attitude. <laughs> yeah, that's what you can say about it for sure. <laughs> Uh, Zatasha. The other hand gesture uh, was not replicable. On the <laughs> this is a family podcast. Now I have a question: Is, is I don't know a if it is. 
um, is an unconscious creature automatically considered willing in terms of no. like? <laughs> <laughs> Yikes! I meant for teleportation purposes very oh, specifically. Sure, sure, sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. sure. Uh-huh. Uh, that's an interesting question. Right. <laughs> I mean, I could also grab her hand, like reach down and grab her hand. And I, try I think to do that's that. what you would do. Okay, that's because that's going to make it more difficult for me to actually get to a point where I might be able to teleport us some someplace useful. Um, Can you teleport to someplace out of the you lava can't is see? More important. Yeah, I was going to fly up so I could see and hopefully see someplace up there that we could teleport to. Um, in this case, we might just have to. We have nine more anymore. rounds to do that. Yeah, yeah, that's so. a good point. We have plenty, yeah. deal with plenty of time because the rope is still that's true. hypnotized. So. Mm. Okay, then I guess I'll just try to pull her up. Uh, okay, like, just make a strength check or athletics <laughs> check. If you want, you can take the help action and I can do it on my turn and we can work on it together. Um, I'm sure I can get her up. Before. I'm a little concerned that hitting that gong is hasn't done anything yet, but might still do something. So... If I can get her out and still get us teleported someplace, I'll also just I mention would... mathematically it's about the same for two people to try versus one person to try with advantage. Fair point. Oh, unless, yeah, that's true. Unless one person's much better at it, has a much case. better yeah, right, then it is better to give they, give that person advantage. Just so one of those things always about it weird is like, is it better to try stuff. twice or to try once really well? Yeah. I tried once uh, and I rolled an eighteen. Well, that's enough. Good. good. Okay. So um, Shara so- is uh, out of the lava. Hooray! Only very badly burned. <laughs> Aww. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I am going to... Let's see. Do I have anything that's useful that I can do with a bonus action? Probably not. I don't know. Um, Open a door. Drop a weapon. <laughs> Pick up a weapon. Mm-hmm. Either weapon. Take a potion. Uh... I think oh, really? a I'm, I'm just going to no, fly. Right. Not take a potion. <laughs> I'm going to fly up uh, about 15 feet and see if I can see any better. Um, uh, okay. And I was going, I mean, I was going to ask a silly <laughs> question because uh, there's plenty of light down here because there's lava everywhere. So you can see. I do have dark vision as well. Uh, well, that, that's it. So you see uh, another room and um, a catwalk. <gasps> On the catwalk. Okay. All right, well, on my next oh, turn... Can't wait to get I up can... there and shake my little tush. Mm-hmm. <laughs> on my next turn, I can uh, transport us all up there. Um, all right. I can't do it now, and I can't do anything to help stabilize Shara at this point, because I already used my action. I assume it was an action to pull her out. Yes. Yep, that's it. I, I do have advantage on death saves, so... <laughs> I mean, Yay. plenty of A time. lot of people are going to get to go before you have to make a death <laughs> save. I think you're going to be okay. You never know. Kachka. It is us. Gonna... <laughs> That's true. That's... There's probably something else we could be doing. Kachka has a sandwich. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, so we are one round down on incapacitation for the Roper. Kachka mm-hmm. plays a song about being burned <laughs> alive by Lava. <laughs> It's called Burned Alive by Lava. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will cast a uh, Cure Wounds on Shara, second level, which I believe... What if she won't go to the second 2d8 level? 2d8 plus you? my modifier. Lava hurts. Lava burns. Feel better. So you now have 14 <laughs> hit points. Everyone's just very confused. Oh, nice. And I think I will stay where I'm at. Actually, I'll move over one square because Shara is in that one. Excellent. Umlal. Now's your chance. The Roper's there. Yeah. (laughs) I'm fascinated to know how this adventure assumes we are getting across a pool of lava if we don't have somebody who can fly and teleport the entire party. Um... But the answers are not contained within There's this. There's probably a boon we could have gotten somewhere. And you wouldn't have gotten so anywhere. We had to like carve in my I mean, forehead that again. Gong yeah. still might do something. It's true. Mm. Just dunk your head in the Yeah, lava. sure. We'll just maybe keep maybe you gotta hit the gong like three times. What if we Stop banging that gong the already, roper. Erica. What if we took or, the gong? Oh, it's one of those magic things that operates gong? via theft? 
I don't no. think that's a traditional <laughs> D and D mechanic. I think the roper has to hit the gong, so you've got to convince the roper to Do hit I the have gong. To hit, oh. What if I hit the gong with the roper? Oh, or the <laughs> then roper it will be a Maybe wink. also that you know say. the gong activates something that takes ten minutes, but because we're in combat, that is one hundred rounds, or well, even. Oh. <laughs> One minute. <laughs> there is a dead giant in the other room. We could fashion a raft very Ooh, easily out of I that. like your ideas. Uh, you know, uh, it's a fire giant. Uh, no one understands rafts the way I do. <laughs> or fire guys. Oh, the rafts Amal are the rope feeling... of the surface of liquids. Amlal is feeling very antsy because uh, he likes to murder things, and this thing, he's like, oh, I can't oh, murder this thing. It Maybe you should throw another rock in the other at the room. gong. <laughs> Yeah, in fr- it's not that he throws a rock at the gong like because he's trying to do it. It's just frustration. It's just like stupid like gong. skipping stones. All right, just like fine. Uh, throw a rock at the gong. Another very loud sound reverberates out. Uh, and then I guess he'll go wander over and stand next to Carlos and sulk, <laughs> like uh, like just gesturing at the magma and gesturing at his sword and being like, what the- "Why are we here?" <laughs> Why this is fine. Ragnar. Uh, am I allowed coffee, to attack the roper yet? <laughs> mm, I think the problem is yes. as soon as you attack it, it starts hitting us again. So and... we're I I well I'm not gonna be the first person to attack the roper. I, Ragnar, it might be it might pull somebody else in before we can teleport away. Well here's the what answer I'm gonna do. No, no, the answer is if that roper does anything if anyone else attacks the roper, Ragnar is gonna fire a ray of frost at it. That's what I'm doing. I'm preparing an action. Okay. That's not like wasting your turn. It's it takes long pre wasting pre wasting. That's right. <laughs> yeah. it does. Uh, Carlos, you prepared an action for last round, uh, yeah. but didn't happen. So, what would you like to do this? Um, round? Uh, same as Regdar, I'm going to prepare a ray of frost at the hey, roper. Hey, if someone hey, else hey, 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 intellectual roper. property. <laughs> you taught it to me. Now I know it too. Now it's oh, both of ours. This is where you learned that. Also, you probably you probably even I learned it, it same- from you, Dad. <laughs> I guess it's just a cantrip, so we have it the same level. It's also just a cantrip, yeah. yeah. Greg Dar's your father. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> magic. Magic Twins. daddy. Uh, I mean, you are. You're half human, right? <laughs> magic daddy is the I title mean, yeah, of this half, episode. Half of half, half uh, human. That's half what a regular is. guy. Yeah. We'll get a whole new class of listener. Shara. Yep. What would you like to do? You you <laughs> take in a deep inhalation of breath and thank your lucky stars that you are not in a lake of lava, but you are next to a lake of lava. So what would you like Yeah, to? I imagine I'm kind of like patting out some, um, while I'm encouraging the wind that kind of constantly surrounds me to um, put out some flames rather than fanning some flames yes, on my clothing. Yes, you're actually dying down the wind so they don't feed the fires. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, the fire's hungry. Hmm. I don't like the. I don't like the fire. I don't like that the fire is hungry. I don't like that I can't attack this roper. I am assuming that people filled me in about. Yes. It's, well, I, I guess did I it telepathically. Heard. Okay. 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 So, I guess I too will join the ranks of people readying an action. <laughs> Um, waiting for someone else. We're so ready. <laughs> we are so ready. ready I for fire everything. I am going to pull out my sword. So if the if a tentacle comes toward us to grab anybody within um, melee range, I'm gonna take a swipe at a at a tentacle or. Can I do a tentacle or another like melee range enemy, or does it have to be a tentacle specifically? Uh, this you... is a weird episode. This is weird. <laughs> I feel weird. Can, yes. Is it? Is it any protuberance? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I feel like uh, we have some good titles uh, already in the hopper here. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking notes. <laughs> um, you. I think the way you would phrase that is if any kind of uh enemy combatant comes, comes in. within uh, melee range, you would attack okay. that. That's what I would like to do, So that please. is all-inclusive of tentacles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That's my turn. <laughs> the worst uh, Caribbean oh. resort ever. Tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> when there was just one tentacle in the sand, that's when the rope had But it's all-inclusive, so, you know, it's all the tentacles. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where this is going. Kajka. No, we're good. Wait, you uh, skipped me. 
Oh no, I did. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. it's Natasha. I was just and making Natasha's sure the one was still person there. we need. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am going to fly. You are flying. Yep, up to let's start with like about here. Can okay. I see any better, any farther? Uh, well, let's get our handy dandy ruler. Every DM's favorite thing. Uh, well, it's pretty bright in there, so why not? We will. So you could see this is a fairly large-ish room up there, and it reveals uh, on the other side of it. Oops, I just revealed too much. I just revealed <laughs> too much. <laughs> you revealed well, everything. Well, not everything. Uh, but too much. Yeah, because my uh, my um, teleportation range is one mile, uh, but <laughs> it has to be something I can see within one mile. So, so you see the there's um, this room is above the room that you're currently in, hence the mm -hmm. the lava flow, uh, and you see uh, a catwalk above a pool of water. So you see another pool of lava. Uh, I don't even think they have cats on Athos. I think you mean a cank walk. <laughs> Not everything is a king. No, no, no. Uh, a I mean, actually, ninety percent of things are kinks on that. <laughs> Sand yeah. walk. A, a, a kink walk is when they the cops bring you into the station. Though. That's it's a damn. different term. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I thought it was when you all walked around in a circle and the yes, last one on one. the right number wins a kink. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. <laughs> yep, kinks. It's also uh, true. You see a, a gantry way, and uh, above it is, is another, on the, the far side of the room, is another lava flow coming down. So it's kind okay. of stepped. All right. Well, I'm going to holler, everybody, there's a catwalk over there. I'm going to teleport us all over to it. What's a cat? And then I do. <laughs> uh, so, yes. It's, do you mean uh, a cat walk? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, this uh, episode of Total a... Party Kill is brought to you by kankmilk.com. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'm not buying another domain. Kankmilk.com. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> it's where you, you can't walk to. <laughs> yeah, cake yes, don't, don't cake walk. Not. Cake cake run. Cake run. <laughs> cake <laughs> cake <laughs> com. Cakes, I hate it. Yeah. Uh, See, I've justified owning that domain for another year. Uh, justified? <laughs> yes. That's for right. tax purposes. For my work. It did use to be oh. a business expense. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> for your work. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so work. Phantom Caravan, as an action, I Ooh, and Caravan. up to six willing creatures of my choice that I can see within 60 feet of me teleport up to one mile to a spot that I can see. Um, Quick question, did yeah. you bring the roper? <laughs> I am not going to bring the roper. Okay, great. Could you have just, just teleported the roper? To be my friends. Willing. I, the, yeah, the roper would get a, uh, a saving throw, and I would have to use a different uh, power. The roper would not be willing. Yeah, I didn't think so. Maybe he doesn't like where he's at. It's not like he can go on his own. Ropers can move. Yep. They can? Mm -hmm. Yes, they can. Oh. They suck. <laughs> They're no good. Everything that moves sucks. All right, so, sucks. yes, I will teleport everybody onto this kank walk. Oh. <laughs> uh, You're welcome. Put myself there. <laughs> and. All right, we're out of then, combat. And then because of my psychic Are focus, we? I get an additional. It seems like we're still in reach of this roper. <laughs> I still get an additional ten feet oh, of I movement. I would like. I want up, everybody though. as as far over this way as I can see. I don't know how how well I could see that direction, but I will read what you all see. I think this will stay in combat. I will stay in initiative order. Do, do, do. Let's see easy. what what number room are you in? Aha! Uh -huh. I see. I see. Do you I see read. Scott? I do. The tunnel opens above a pool of lava. The You are not coming out of a tunnel. Uh, you are above a pool of lava, the surface of which is 30 feet below. A metal kank walk suspended 10 feet from the ceiling by iron chains connects to another tunnel on the far side, as well as to a stone column rising up from the magma. The kank walk passes through a hole in the column. In the lava below, serpentine creatures glide and splash. To the south, the lava cascades into a pool, which is where you just came from, uh, before the current continues down a channel to the north. Uh, All right. And so you see a bunch of kind of... Uh, serpentine forms of varying sizes kind of s swimming through the magma below La you. Lava snakes? How far below us? Uh, 30 ten, feet. 10 feet. Oh, I thought you said 10 30. Feet. We're 10 feet from the ceiling, but how far are we from the uh, lava? Let's see what I read here. Da, 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 surface of 30 feet below, catwalk suspended 10 feet from the ceiling, so 20 feet from you. Okay. 
I see. Uh, and can we see farther in any direction? I just sort of, for no particular reason, headed to the one sort of toward the east. But it just seems that there are there are non kankwaki places to stand <laughs> on either side of the kankwak. There are, but let us... Presumably uh, the kankwak connects something to something. Uh, let me do something. Nope, it's a, it's a freestanding kankwalk. It's a structural No kankwalk. self-respecting kank would give their name to a kankwalk that didn't connect two places that are worth walking. <laughs> oh, is there a plaque uh, where we can read about the kank that this kankwalk is king from? <laughs> Kankity, it's probably K-kank, on the, uh, the, the third king of It's kanks. probably on the pillar in the middle. Oh, okay. Always stop to read the plaque, people. That's how you will learn the real history of kankwalks. <laughs> There's not any tourists here. <laughs> not really. So, okay, uh, cool. what was I the question? You can see. Gets all touristy. Uh, I just want to know if there are passageways off to either end, or yes. are they just like little so? There, nooks? there are tunnels that are on either end of this catwalk. I'm just wondering which one to head toward. But if I don't see anything in either one, it's six and one half a dozen of the other. Correct. And I think so. Do you have so you, you did an action? So, or is that a movement? Or do you still have movement? I don't know how. Um, Phantom it caravan is. That works. was an action. Uh, I also used some uh, some of my movement. All right. Well, you can move wherever you would like. There is to the west, uh, a, a southwest, I guess, uh, a tunnel, and to the northeast, a tunnel. Uh, I'm just going to go this way and see what I can see. P- please assume that I am firmly on the kink walk <laughs> and not just like dangling off the side as it looks like on the map into the lava. Uh, so you see that this this tunnel continues upward. All right. Well, I have arbitrarily made the choice that we're going this way. So I go, come on, guys, this way. Go team. <laughs> well. I mean, come on, team, because don't go. Come this this way. Thanks. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, you have such good turn etiquette. It's like you're, right. you're the person who always says "over" on the radio. <laughs> that's right. 10-4. Well, if you don't, how do people how know, they know? What to talk? Yeah, that's true. Hmm. All right, Kachka says, "Be there in a minute," and heads in the other direction. <laughs> no, <laughs> Kachka just wants to sort of stealthily head the other direction don't, just to don't see. Don't make me baleful transposition, you, mm. Mister. Oh <laughs> dear. Kashka is just going to see uh, if there's anything coming towards us from that direction, and if this like maybe ends in a secret door that we could have possibly gone in. Secrets. So I will stealthily head a few squares to the west. All right, give me a stealth check, please. Sure, I would love to do that. Hmm, that is a thirteen plus uh, nineteen. Thirteen plus nineteen. Yeah, it's a big one. What? That's a lot. Uh, a lot. All right. So as you cross into the um, the the tunnel, you notice something right away that the heat it's been it's really really hot down here, and you cross over and it the heat intensifies. It's even hotter uh, in this area. And now let me explain what you are seeing in this room. Uh, Pizza ooh. ovens. Yep, that's Delicious. it. It's a thick pizza pie right here. Uh, you've never this, had a pizza, so you've had it made by a, a fire call, Jason. <laughs> this tunnel opens up into a chamber with a convex floor, scores of humanoid skulls, most of them scorched and charred or stuffed into niches in the walls. Many of them burn with flames, each varying in color, casting the entire chamber in a bizarre light. Neat. I can't actually see any of that. Oh, there, now I do. I'm starting to think that this cult Ew. might be bad. <laughs> I also see there's a passage heading towards the south. I feel like that's our exit. Quick question. But I presume Scott. that there is a secret door over there that leads into that shelf in the other room. Are Could these be. floors actually like stripey or is that indicate <laughs> something else? <laughs> that indicates something else. The floor is lava? Uh, <laughs> uh, the f- uh, it no, could this, be so- elevation. It, it could be, but it's not. So when uh, mm-hmm. the, these are uh, indicating the level of heat I in like. the different rooms and uh, for also game mechanics, of, if you, uh, barbershop quartet. the heat is so intense that if you linger uh, in certain areas, things Oh, we mustn't happen. linger. Yes, I have no intention of lingering. In fact, I'm going to take a couple steps Do back before I even end my turn. You have back to, to the kink walk. 
I just wanted to identify our means of egress if we had to get out of here quickly. And that looks like the way. Mission accomplished. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Umlal. Well, so uh, Zatasha just said, this way, team. Thank you. Oh, and good night. Never had a Tasha, reason. Do you have more movement then? I mean, if you if that, if all you did was look. I went about uh, four squares in that direction and then two squares back. So maybe I've got. So you still have an action then, right? I do. I guess I could dash towards you, but I'm not sure I want to do that because I like being in the back. Hmm. Fair. I could shoot that roper in the other room. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but I don't think I'll do that either. Uh, Amlal, I guess, is going to forge ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six. What, what do I see when I reach this spot? Uh, all right, let's see here. So, oh, good, more. Uh, let's see, how far can you see one? Pretty far. You could probably see in here. Oh, more of those guys. And I will explain what you see. Uh, pillars rise from the glassy floor of this circular cave to support a smooth domed ceiling, which you can't see, but you can imagine. Uh, niches carved into the columns hold dancing flames that illuminate copper tapestries hanging on the walls. Each tapestry bears the symbol of the fire cult. Just in front of a wide exit tunnel stands a dais with an altar on top of it. Before the altar kneel three cultists, two in robes, and one encased in armor. To the north and south are smaller chambers, which you can't really see, but yeah, I guess you could see the one to the north. Uh, an ornate privacy screen blocks the view to the north. Pay no attention Lala. to the man behind the screen. Um, Amal looks back at Zatasha and whispers, me found altar. <gasps> and the cultists appear to be um, uh, kneeling in front of the altar and praying. Well. Were there, were there, there weren't altars at the other... Um, there was one places where they were trying to bring pe- bring people through. Were there? Well, there was one where they tried to sacrifice the halfling. The halfling. Yeah, but that wasn't at a portal. That was, that was for divination purposes. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Well, I I just assume we need to go and kill these people. Yeah, I, I mean, Amal's going to say that, but then continue on six, seven, eight, get to there. Um, question is: attack or get closer? By the way, I would have expressed my findings to everybody when I got back in the room. So, well, this is one of those times where it's like, this is a stupid thing, but this is what Amlaw would do. <laughs> Play your character. Okay. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <laughs> he creeps all the way up behind him, like, like kind of stealth, like tiptoeing, but not stealthy. <laughs> and then just is like standing right behind the guy in the armor, who I assume is looking at the altar praying. Is that what you said, Scott? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He goes, what are we looking at? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I love uh, it. All right. Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> Got to recalibrate for how foolish you are. <laughs> I said I to... it's a stupid idea, but it is 100% what Amal would do. 100%. Mm. Is is it an idea? Yeah, idea is a strong word. <laughs> Not for Omal. That's a great idea for Omal. It is a thing that is happening. Let us agree that it is. I, yeah, as I mentioned, he has happening? no thoughts or plans, simply hopes and dreams. Yeah. I mean, in a, in a lot of ways, who's He's the real pure. hero of the story? He's pure, yeah, like I a mean, child. Yeah. I mean, Omal is happy. Regdar. <laughs> With no soul, he is. Regdar is full of lies happy. and confusion. Plus, he <laughs> almost got eaten by a tempo. I mean, hmm. don't be like Reb- Regdar people. Be like all Don't. Uh, oh wait. Oops. Uh, Stab a god. Give away your soul. Yeah. yeah. I think technically you 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 did get eaten by a tempo and then. Yeah. Well, did I get that. eaten? I got killed by one. I <laughs> okay, mean, I, I don't true. think I got that digested. Mauled. No. Mauled is a better. Is a more. Um, that's an eight. accurate. Mm-hmm. Okay. I had to do a bunch of stuff. All right, so I've done all my things. So, oh, Reg uh, Umlal, as you walk in there, you. Uh, also see something else. Ooh, well, that would have been great to know. <laughs> would not have changed anything, let's be honest. But <laughs> You see a rather large creature in the chamber <laughs> below holding a very large sword. 
Fun. Uh, who sees you? <laughs> uh, it, it looks like a. Uh, Uh, well, the best way to describe it is a big red genie holding a giant sword. <laughs> I was going to say, it, look, it looks ginger. Sure. So, uh, there you go. So, you say, what are we looking at? And uh, it's not their turn, but they are surprised that you are there. The last time we met a, a djinn in, a, in the cult area, they were working against their will. And mm. we were able to talk mm. them around to our have side. Met, have we met two different Jin, did we meet both a wind and a water one? I, thought there was I don't only think we met a water one. I think just the the yeah, yeah the wind one, which mm -hmm. okay. we went in and broke its vessel, and it yep. never really helped us. As I was, yeah, it gave us the bottled breath. I think eventually, hopefully. but it didn't come in and save the day at moments when we thought it would. I just you know, <laughs> oh, so no. we don't know what this this Jin's uh, relationship to the other three might be yet. Nope. Uh, so. It uh, sees you, holds up a hand, uh, Umlal, and that hand, uh, in that hand, a globe of fire appears. It throws it at you uh, and hits with a 23. I suppose so. <laughs> and you take 18 points of damage. Then it unsheathes its sword, walks toward you, and swings. It gets to do a it's lot a when I surprised it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a scimitar. Uh, it's not particularly surprised. Uh, 23. To hit? Yep. Uh, yes. That'll You hit. take 10 points of slashing damage. How much came from uh, that? How much was there from the fire? Uh, I don't remember. I think it was 18. 18, there you go. Okay. 10 points of slashing damage and 6 points of fire damage. So total this, that's it's 16 plus 18, an incredibly which is, hot scimitar. Uh, 34. Is that right? Sure. That's right. Yeah, that could have gone better. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use my uh, stone's endurance to uh, absorb some of that. It's a reaction. Now, I'm going to ask a question. Boy, I rolled like crap. Uh -oh. so I absorbed six of that. <laughs> Do you have any plans to go back to the Roper <laughs> in Ever? within a minute? <laughs> I don't think we're going back there within mm -hmm. a minute. Mm -mm. All right. I'm going to take it out of combat and replace it <laughs> with uh, uh, this um, And Scott, did the Jin act on its, its turn or my turn? It acted on its turn. Okay. I assumed you were done. If you weren't done, you could do something. No, I mean, I just it was trying to figure out when certain things would happen, but that's fine if it basically got to go immediately after me showing up. It did. Okay. In initiative order, that's what it would be. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. The Amla, other guys, Amla so will much. yell loudly like, ow, what's the big deal? <laughs> What's a, what's a big deal? <laughs> I was just Forget making about the pizza it. in the other room. <laughs> Mamma mia. What's the matter, you? <laughs> I apologize to our Italian American yeah. listeners. <laughs> and they had no else. idea that was yeah. Italian. I was going to say, what, Let's about, be fair. what about people who just live in Italy? Yeah, what about. <laughs> like, they know what they did. For them. <laughs> what about Mario? <laughs> They, they uh, still Mario's owe me for the, yeah. the yeah. Renaissance. Yeah. Apologize to all of our Mario the listeners. The Renaissance? <laughs> you, have a, you have a chip on your shoulder about the entire Renaissance? Yep. Mm. I mean, he that's was, another podcast. Wow. But Scott was in. All right. Scott was really into the nascents, and when they, just, was, <laughs> I just I want to find out what Scott has against Leonardo da Vinci, but that's a different podcast. I don't, I don't like oh. overachievers. Stay in your lane, Da Vinci. Oh, yeah. Regdar. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> all right. Regdar scampers forward. I see a little nook in this hallway here. Uh, so where I can see Amal getting uh, beaten up by this uh, giant uh, djinn. Mm -hmm. uh, Regdar calls over his shoulder to his co-workers. Amal found the bad guys! <laughs> and I will uh, fire off some magic missiles at the djinn. I feel like this calls for a... Level four magic missile. Ah, uh, yes. You assess the situation. This seems like a this seems like a level four. <laughs> um 
All right. Level four magic missile. About a five iron, maybe yeah. a six. <laughs> well, wait, what's par on this uh, genie? That can't be right. That can't be right. Um, Let me consult my caddy, one. Carlos. Carlos. Let's see. I think it's about uh, a level I get four. Three, level four. Three additional darts. Let's see here. This does not. I thought D and D Beyond did more math for me. It does not. No. Um, it's just math is stupid. <laughs> wow. So first the Renaissance now math. Darts. For each additional level, I get uh, it's D and D Beyond. I like you math. Probably just three keep more hitting darts. the damage roll for it, right? I was trying to figure out how many times I get to hit it. I think I get to hit it six times total. So level four. Uh, that is yep. one. What? Six times. Does Scott say? Yep. Okay. I was just going to look it up. Uh, four plus two is six. Plus four is ten. That's three. Mm -hmm. Plus three is thirteen. Plus four is seventeen. Mm -hmm. Plus three is twenty. I Solid believe that was 20. six total above, darts. Above, twenty above average. total damage. <clears throat> Uh, as six magic darts whiz down the hall and thwack into the side of that gin. Thwack, thwack, thwack. Uh, how much was it? 20, you said? 20 damage. All right. It takes all that damage. That's good. It was force damage. Yeah, not a lot of stuff. Not, resist force damage. It was one of my few not <laughs> fire, fire spells because I figured that, you know, this thing lives in fire or That's at true. least lives well, near I fire. Mean, I guess we'll find out if ever this thing is if, if literally everything <laughs> resists fire damage or not. I guess I assume canonically Ooh. that that Regdar really invested a lot of time into fire magic because of his love of firing pottery. Mm -hmm. So it's just like that's his makes natural sense. affinity there. That makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So also, it just seems like the wizard has a lot of fire very very fire. lazy fireball wall fire. Nobody fire. ever talks about yeah. water ball. So doesn't get doesn't get the same play. Yeah. Nobody cares Dan, about water ball. Carlos, don't don't go chasing water walls. Um, anyway, please continue. Here's <laughs> water wall. I'm a lava. You know what I mean. And I'm swirling around under the cank walk. Uh, yeah, uh, Carlos uh, runs. Lava. Run, Carlos. Run. With his boots of speed, mm -hmm. he is able to run all the way to next oh, to his geez. compatriot Omlal. Wow. Um, okay. It's a choice. Well, I mean, we're, it's fighting time. Carlos, this guy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Carlos, this guy really yeah. mean. And he's going to take an action surge so that he can um, once again, uh, he can also hit because he had to he had to use his action to run further. Um, but he can hit now. And so he's going to. He's going to attack the djinn. Oh, boy. Play off the djinn. If that, is, if that is who he is. All right, so let's give this a try. Uh, 25 to hit? Uh, 25 to hit. Uh, yes. I noticed you, any kind of fire-related damage, don't bother. <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. Thank you for saving us time. 11 piercing damage. Okay. Attack number two. 21 to hit? That will hit. Six piercing damage. All right. Fifteen to hit. It bounces off its tough skin. And nineteen to hit. That will hit. That will take twelve slashing damage. Ooh. All right. One second. Different kind of damage. Mm -hmm. What? And that's it. He's hit thing. He ran and hit things, people. It's the archetypal yeah, Carlos turn. Hooray! Uh, what was That's why what, we're here. What was that last one? Ten? That's <laughs> why we are all here. Just for you. Okay. For yeah. Carlos. And so, who, Shara and Zatasha, you see uh, beneath the catwalk, emerging from the lava, some forms. Does oh, Ketchka the see this too? Uh, where is Ketchka? Ketchka is off to the west. Southwest. Kachka chose to stay behind. Then Kachka sees it as well. Okay. As oh. these <gasps> things appear. What, what kind know. of things? Is that a they oh, are fire salamanders. Fire, fire salamanders. I think they're different than Slot, Dan. Oh, well. 
I am in a bad way, just so everybody knows. Uh-huh. So, and you're in the middle of four of them, so things looking up. Yeah, <laughs> this place is bad. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> agreed. He's no good. Why would anyone so these be here? Salamanders are like um, uh, large snakes with arms and heads, and they're holding. Yes, I'm familiar with the idea of a salamander. <laughs> uh, fantastical <laughs> creatures. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I like how you didn't focus on the part where they live in fire. Snakes with <laughs> arms and heads. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I will never describe anything ever again. <laughs> I was enjoying it. <laughs> and they Wait, are what are holding. Well, you know what they're holding, so I won't even tell you. Uh, and they use the thing that I'm not going to describe to attack. Uh, who on. shall they just attack? Though is the question. Oh, I wouldn't even I, say. I would just. I would just roll dice, <laughs> and we'll figure it out. I do not based care. Just read numbers, clues. Scott. Yeah, Scott, just read numbers, and we'll have to infer what happens. <laughs> yeah, Scott, have you considered this is an alternative dungeon master style where you just play the role of a number station? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't like that. Uh, they will throw two spears at Shara and one spear at Zatasha and one at Kachka. Spears. Surely they have cover because they're uh, on a, a cank walk, and those people are twenty down feet up. Them. The that is true. The Shara's miss. Zatasha's That's will good. also miss. Uh, does a sixteen hit you, Kachka? It would, but I'm going to use some cutting words. Uh-huh. Salamanders, salamanders are just snakes with heads and legs. <laughs> uh, snakes have heads. Snakes are known for their heads. <laughs> That's not what Scott true. tells me. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and salamanders don't have legs. You said a sixteen, right? <laughs> I did. Okay. Salamanders so you wouldn't let me describe what a salamander legs. was, so I couldn't tell you. <laughs> All right. I have concerns about your salamander definition now. <laughs> so I need to roll a two or better on my one d eight. These are fantastic salamanders. These are not normal salamanders. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, we get it. These are great salamanders. <laughs> All right. I'm still not going to buy. I'm just not in the market. What's it going to take? I came to this store. Me to get you. I came to this store looking for an ice newt. You will not sell me a buy salamander. How right. can I get you into I'm a salamander? I'm taking my business. <laughs> Elsewhere. You could probably feed him to the salamander. I'll include an undercoating. No. Is that for you or the hey, salamander? Hey, they put that on at the at the factory. <laughs> is it made of lava? Oh. <laughs> it, yeah, it's made of lava. Uh, Kachka, did you do whatever it is you were going to do? Yeah, I'm not going to tell you what it was though. <laughs> All right, well, if, if assuming if, if and it, this is podcast, the good everybody. news is I'm not getting hit. All right, well then you won't take 12 points of damage, and they will kind of swirl around and. Um, Look up at you. Shara. Get out. Mm-hmm. Get to the job up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I- I'm going to... Now, you don't know which way to go, uh, because there's one way that has more peril, but you don't quite know that yet. But everyone, you you see Carlos run towards peril, so you know to mm-hmm. the north is peril. But also yeah, your well, friends. Our friends are in a fight to the north. I think we should all... Go together. I'm just Whichever way Carlos went, that's where Peril is because he yeah. takes Peril with him. That's right. Yeah, and I know both name. Carlos no, danger, and but it's close. <laughs> I know both Carlos and Almal are up there, and they are bound to be getting into trouble. Peril yep. was so, my mother's mi- middle name. <laughs> I am just Meryl gonna dash. Peril. <laughs> you don't know that we could just be having coffee up here. It's true. Hanging out. Regdar yelled about the peril. <laughs> yelled coffee with the bad guy. That's right. And Shara, you come not. around the corner, you're standing next to Regdar, and clearly you see peril, coffee, yeah. nowhere to be found. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I can't do anything because I dashed, but I am here to bear witness <laughs> to whatever happens. You say you guys are on your own. Yep. Peace out. Uh, all right. So, uh, let's see. Uh, so the flame priest, uh, points a finger at this point in the room, this point, uh, and a moat of fire, uh, expands out of his hand into a fireball and it engulfs a uh, 40 foot radius. The uh, genie is engulfed, but doesn't care. Everybody else uh, probably will. Oh boy. Uh, so everyone in the room has to roll. Uh, Did that include Shar and Regdar? Yes. Cool. 
Do I have any? Do I have any protection for my nook? Um, we'll say you your, can get a your plus. pitiful Barnes and Noble e-reader is burned to a crisp. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a get, dexterity check, right? Which I'm not. You are. Um, yes, we'll give you a dex, plus two for your your nook. Dex save, Scott. It is a dexterity saving throw. Ooh, great news! This is a spell or magical effect. I have advantage I against those. I also Ooh. have advantage against things I can see while not incapacitated. Ooh, I rolled a twenty-one on my first roll. Oh, I'll just roll again. This is case. this is straight up dexterity. Is that right? Dex save. It's saving. A, it's a dex save. Dex save. Well, I rolled with advantage, and my better roll was a seven. Well, I know that I will still take some damage on a success. Um, yes, you take I do half this. damage. Because th- this is what it feels like <laughs> when I've been doing other people. I failed. I rolled a All seven right, well, if you two. fail, you take full damage. If you saved, you take, uh, and the DC is 13, you take full damage. Scott's not going to roll a from... pound of dice. One of the two uh, yeah, identical guys on the on the side. Eighty six. Uh, but unfortunately, I thought, the I thought other one is going to do the same thing. <laughs> Wait, how yeah. much? Uh, no, it's eighty six. Yeah, I know. The, but how much? I, want, not, I don't care about that. I want the number. number I have not. <laughs> well, I, we have not. The real number is yet to be announced. <laughs> Eighty six. is the joke number. <laughs> what is this? Kino. Nineteen I don't points know of damage. Works, yeah. If you, oh, I, don't know. I assume it's bingo, but with uh, betting. Well, don't count your chickens before they're hatched because there are two eternal flame priests. I really, they both uh, can cast fire. Which I had raged. So I take half of nineteen. Take half of nineteen, and then and I, I can uncanny dodge. Correct. Yes, I can see them. Okay. The other one casts fireball at the same spot. So, uh, same DC. That's great. Well, let's see if this advantage on dexterity works better this time. So it worked like crap last time. I got a 17, so that you said it was like a 13, so I'm going to take half damage again. Yep. Ooh, I got a 14. Fi- I don't think I should take fire damage. I think I just do fire damage, right? Uh, Did Gregor well, mention that if, he is... I'm 116th <laughs> tiefling. Maybe. 32 points of damage if you fail, 16 if you what? did not. Or 16 if I... I that was a lot. succeeded. Mm-hmm. Um, I have one hit point. <laughs> one hit point. Shara, right, why did you run down this hall that's full of fire? Oh, because there's salamanders. I the mean, the, <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. like, what are my options? It's out of the fire and um, into the fire. Uh, and then the razor blast. This room is kind of shaped like a frying pan. It is, it's um, true. Uh, the razor blast, who you'll remember, is the armored person who has a, a, a portal of uh, a flame in their chest, turns and takes their spear and attacks Umlal three times. Or at least attempts to. Uh, 17 probably misses, and 8 misses. Uh, actually, 17 and... hits. Oh, how but about a 16? My armor class is 17. Ah, well, then he hits once. Uh, why don't she hits once? Come on. They don't all have to be men. I'm a feminist. Hashtag women are the future. Uh, eight. Thanks, Scott. <laughs> eight, eight points of damage? <laughs> yes. Oh, or the future I... is female. That's what it is. Hashtag <laughs> the future is female. The binder is full of the future. <laughs> wow. The binder wow. is full of the future. Nailed it. Uh, oh, man. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Similar, right? <laughs> I think you're broken. So anyway, about those tentacles. Uh, wow! I, I, like, I, like, I, I, I like this. Uh, I like this new character that you're working. You're workshopping, Scott. Uh, uh, you know, out of touch, middle aged dad. Uh, it's gonna be all there in the club. That's right. Uh, well, I think I'm an ally, people. I'm an ally. I've. <laughs> <laughs> I've taken roughly 70 <laughs> points of damage in the last round. Uh-huh. How'd you do that? Uh, know, well, that's what happens Zatasha. when I play in character. <laughs> um, so you've, you've, heard, you've seen a lot of flames uh, billowing mm-hmm. out of the uh, corridor in, in rapid succession. You've heard some, some, some screams. You see some salamanders below you. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to skedaddle up into the hallway. And I'm going to notice that my good friend Shara is in very bad shape, and I am going to use mend wounds to mend some of her wounds. With, oh boy, I am going through my side points real fast. But uh, let's see. Oh, and I rolled not great. Uh, well, let's, uh, so Aline oh, probably okay. didn't take any damage if you got a successful saving throw. But still, she was down to, like, 
One. One, one hit point. So you now have 11 more. Okay, thanks. Pro- yep. Probably aren't um, down is what he's saying. So the creature gains one hit point. Okay, and because I just spent those, I can also use my mystical recovery to get give myself four hit points. Yay. Ooh, hit points are good. Yep, I'll take those. And, All right, anything else? Um, well, I guess I will. Let's see, that was I did, it wasn't my entire movement. I'm going to back up this far just to sort of like look back and be like, Kashka, WTF. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's it. And One it more Kashka's round, turn. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> um, so someone pointed out in the chat, thank you person in the chat, um, something that is buried very far down in D&D Beyond's character shape for some reason. Um, for uh, rogues, when there's something that uh, calls for a dex save, when there's a spell that calls for a dex save and you take half damage. You don't take any damage. We, you don't take any damage, yeah. Is so that you what you're trying to tell me, back. Scott? And I just did not understand mm-hmm. at yes, all. Okay, because I didn't really I did not it. parse that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> but you were still in the chat. You were still down enough that eleven hit points was helpful, though. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was so uh, my max was fourteen. Bath. You should so undo all of those now. half damages. Exactly. Yeah. So you you have even more up hit points. To, okay. Woo. Thanks. Sorry, I just did oh, not process okay. what you said. So better now. I have twenty. I'm up to twenty five of sixty five. You're in a dire so. situation. But Kachka's turn <laughs> is coming up. So perhaps <laughs> she will save us all because you know. The future is female. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> That's right. Jersey female bugs. Uh, okay, so uh, Kachka will quickly strum a power cord on her cleatar and uh, cast invisibility on herself. Nope. She's seen the flames emerging from that hallway, so she's not in any hurry to get there quick. <laughs> but she also wants to avoid any attacks from these creatures in this room. So she's gone invisible. She's oh, going to use her move just... to start heading towards okay. the uh, towards the next room along the kank walk. Very good. Place yourself where you would like to be. Well, within your range of movement. Umlal, you've you've uh, found yourself in a, a sticky wicket, as they say in Athos. Would you, uh, uh, would you like to uh, take a, a guess about... A lot of croquet about... on wicket on Athos? <laughs> <laughs> it's cricket, not croquet. It's cricket, yep. <laughs> Oh, croquet also has wickets. Are there, yeah, yeah, croquet also has wickets. Yeah. It does, but do they use the term "sticky wicket" in croquet? Depends if how much sticky. marmalade is on it. Mm. Oh, Fair. yeah. I I will not be croquet policed by you, Erica, <laughs> my dear friend and now enemy. <laughs> oh dear! I think there's only uh, one way to solve this. Scott, would you care to take a uh, wild guess about Amal's emotional state at this point? <laughs> Um, I think he is calm, cool, and collected. Uh, yeah, cool. In the middle of the fire temple, he's uh, state cool of like mind. A, Dan, cool like a summer breeze. Uh, summer and, breeze uh, makes me feel fine. fine. Rage just fills. Him. He's <laughs> like, I was just asking simple question. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Uh, so I will go into it's a rage, unprovoked aggressiveness, it's and not cool. I will start. Uh, Boy. It's unbecoming of a cultist, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, Carlos, you attacked the genie? I did. Okay. We should probably concentrate our mm-hmm. attack. Oh, uh, I stand corrected. Apparently, in the United States, states, Sticky Wicket can also refer to croquet. Oh, I don't well, live in the I United the States. Most, <laughs> yeah, and you're barely an American anymore. Um, so, <laughs> congratulations. Oh my. <laughs> All right. So, attacking, let's see, great sword attack. One, uh, 29, I'm guessing, will hit. Yes. Uh, four, two, 20 damage. Second okay. attack, 26 will hit. Four. Uh, 15 damage. All right. And let me just check. Does not appear to be happy. Well, good. That makes two of us. All right. It is the genie's turn here. Uh, uh, he's not going to do that. He will just attack good old Umla. <laughs> Cool. Um, so, how I hate him. How I hate him. 
Uh, he's going to swing his giant uh, scimitar. A natural 20 probably hits a 17. Uh, 17 also hits, since that is my armor uh, class. <laughs> oh, that's oh. right. All right. So you will take... Uh, let's see. Oh, this is... Thanks to that fireball, I have the right number of dice for this one hit. Oh, boy. 34 points of damage from the first hit. Okay, that will be halved, because I'm raging. Uh, and then you'll take... 19 points of damage from the second. It's also halved, so that would be 9. And he's right. yelling in this language that sounds like the crackling of fire and the flowing of magma. Just to put it out there, even though I did rage and take half damage from that, I'm at 16 hit points out of 113, so not great. Uh-oh. Regdar. Uh, Regdar has been carefully uh, plotting his next move. Regdar should really retrain uh, or relearn a different spell instead of summon greater, summon greater demon because that's really <laughs> it. Just it's so appetizing there, but I'm not going to do that to, now that I know. Seems that. to seems to create I, more problems than it solves. <laughs> you know, Dan, I. I, I have notes for you about another adventure that we play. In that. <laughs> uh, I am going to use sleep. I'm going to cast sleep at third level on the uh, the one of the flame priests uh, or priestesses. Uh, let's target this on the one to the north. Um, sleep at third level. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. I get to. Uh, Let's see here. At higher, uh, sorry. That's okay. D and D Beyond is. Back. Are you focusing it so oh. just that guy gets the brunt of it? Yeah. Well, I it, it theoretically it could also put the other guy to sleep, but it's unlikely to do so. Uh, I roll five d eight at higher levels. I get to roll an additional two d eight for each slot above the first. So I believe I get to roll uh, four extra d eight. Five plus four is nine. Ninety-eight. 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 Uh, um. So here's 9d8 worth 98 hit points worth of bad guys. Well, potentially bad guys uh, fall asleep. Um, what have they done that's so bad? That is a pretty low roll for 98, that, isn't it? That 36. is a pretty that's a garbage God. roll. 36 that's a, is exactly half. Actually, yeah, yeah, I guess that's exactly yeah, average. That's well, I, bet that, that, I think not. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> I thought th I bet that priest has more than uh, thirty six hit points. That priest does, in fact, have more than thirty six hit points. So basically, nothing happens except that I expended a spell. Eons. Slot. Yeah, unfortunately, I think sleep past like uh, really low level adventures kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah, unless you're fighting like was, a bunch I of kobolds. Yeah, it's good for polishing off a room of very low hit point creatures. I just thought it might put a caster to sleep and make the fight a little bit better. If, if I mean, you with a really good roll, I would have. Yeah, yeah, he's no, he's, very, he's, he's drowsy, see. Tony. Mm, he shouldn't, he shouldn't so operate right. heavy equipment. Uh, I think Regdar is going to have to back up just a little bit to try and not get fireballed. Be I don't careful, know. there's salamanders. There's salamanders. Regdar will move into the room to try and knock him fireballs. <laughs> question uh, mark? It, question mark? Mm. Uh, you described that there were some pillars around the periphery of this room supporting the... the uh, yeah, you're standing so behind would, one now, yep. Yeah, Regdar would like to cower behind a pillar. <laughs> very, very good. Is cowering Regdar in action or a bonus action? That's a bonus it's a, action. It's a bo for, I think it's, it's a, a free way of life. For Regdar, uh -oh. Regdar <laughs> yeah. because of my class. It's a class feature. That's right. <laughs> um, Cower. Uh, what level are you cowering at? <laughs> this is quality level nine cowering, <laughs> sir. Mm, very powerful. Carlos. Have a magical day. <laughs> um, I will not. You have a large, angry uh, genie of some sort. You've got some, some flame priests and a razor blast. Umlal said, ah, you know, I, I've seen better days. And uh, you, you sense some cowering, right. so, some so, powerful cowering behind so, a column. Um, fellow players, do we think that hmm. the genie is is just going to do this? Should should I just keep attacking it? Or or might the flame priest have some control over it? 
So I just focus my efforts on the genie. Is that okay? It's the only person I mean, we've poured any damage in, right? As long as the flame priests aren't just going to keep dropping yeah. fireballs. Yeah, left I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure there's a winning... Mm-hmm. We've already. Is there like? Can you look around and see if there is a what was it a horn or something like that that we destroyed to free the last one? Is there a, a horn obviously sitting on the yeah. altar? Or well, could mean, also just ask little... the genie if he wants to be free. <laughs> um, seems like he wait till his turn to find out. Oh speaking. yeah, actually yes. I oh, so okay, Scott. I will I will say mm-hmm. to the genie, if you don't want to do this, we could tr- we could free you, and then you could you could leave. Um, and uh, I also want to look in his little room that he was in. I just want to glance over there and see if there might be anything that I recognize, like that horn or whatever, that might be a way to uh, to free him. Uh, as you glance over, you see colorful carpets and throw pillows are scattered across the floor, while a sumptuous feast is laid out on an obsidian table along the far wall. Under it is an ornate chest. Uh, a chair with finely woven cloth coverlets, coverlets and pillows sits along the north side. Small jets of flame that emerge from the walls at regular intervals light the place. Wow. It, it seems, seems to me like a chest, an ornate chest seems like something that maybe our rogue could open and discover if there's something in it that was important. Yeah, but if that's his room, that's the, that, the thing's not going to be there because if he had it, he's doing whatever he wants. Like, that won't be helpful. If he has, if he has control of his own... Maybe he doesn't whatever. have a key. Yeah, I think the magic doesn't allow him to destroy his own vessel. Maybe. All right, well, it, failing now, I'm just going to attack him. <laughs> hey, can we help you? Murder. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> if you don't want to do this, let me know. I want this to hit is, you. I mean, actually, no. I, I, <laughs> this, I'm gonna, this is what we call all mall diplomacy. I'm gonna, well, it's yeah. Carlos diplomacy. So Carlos is actually going to move around oh, sorry, Carlos. and oh, attack Carlos, the flame priest. Give me an arcana check. Since you are now a student of the mystical, mm. it's a five, Scott. That's a, that's I, didn't I was say just going to say, what kind of a student? Low, is low level level student. That's about right. <laughs> Kindergarten. All right, level. never mind. Uh, all right, you attack the uh, flame priest there. Flame okay. priest. Uh, yeah, here we go. This will be fun. Maybe twenty-three to hit. Fun for who? Uh, that will hit eleven piercing notice- damage. As you hit, that uh, there, there's a, a a magic force field kind of appears and then collapses as you hit. How much uh, damage did you say? Eleven. 14? Eleven. And then, okay. and I shouldn't bother rolling fire damage on this guy either. Uh, you should. Oh. But oh. you will want just have it for me. Okay. Well, that's different than not rolling it. It's true. It's it's it's, it's very better. <laughs> Okay, well then, uh, that is four additional fire damage. All right. Or less than that. Four, was that halved? No, that was, I rolled four damage. Okay, well then, <laughs> two. Half. Okay. Uh, 29 to hit. Certainly will hit. He will take seven slashing damage. I rolled a crit. Yay. So what do I do? Uh, double the dice? Roll the dice double, twice. Yeah. Roll two yeah. times as many dice, yeah. Roll the dice twice. Okay, well, 17 damage. All right. Plus, plus, hmm? 15 halved fire damage. So 15 in half. Yes, so seven, seven roll down. more roll down. damage. And there's one well, more. Oh, all right. 25 to hit. 25 will hit. Nice. 10 more slashing damage on that All guy. Right. That guy uh, is dead. Yeah! Nice. nice. Should have started with those guys, clearly. And Carlos <laughs> looks, ar- looks around uh, to the pillar where Regudar probably is and said, says, I put him to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Trash talking your own party members. Yep. Uh, All right. Tell him about the rabbits first. (laughs) Uh, Let's see here. Uh, Oh, is it the cultist turn? It is the salamander's turn. Oh. Hmm. They are swimming around in their lava, looking. uh, They swim (laughs) under the catwalk and kind of scrape along it, looking for uh, someone to attack, but they can't find anyone. I bet they'd love to climb out if they had legs. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. They, they do not have legs. Hmm. 
as you'll remember from my finely detailed yep. description. <laughs> and Shara. salad members don't have legs. <laughs> mm-hmm. Famously. Okay. I'm going to... All right. Uh, I guess I'm going to uh, stop using the ruler tool so I can move my character. Uh, step into the room a little more loath <gasps> as I am to do that. Um, crud. I can't quite get over there. All right. Shara, why don't you give me an arcana check at advantage? Mm. Yeah. Let's see what Carlos didn't understand. <laughs> Which of the oh many? Uh, uh, I mean, it's yeah, a ten sure. with advantage. Uh, well, you you know that this thing is an Afridi, and that it is an elemental, and that ah. it probably doesn't. It probably speaks its elemental language, and that's it. Which is not any of the languages I speak. I wonder if it speaks Ignan. Does anybody here Ignan. know if an Afrit uh, also has a vessel like a genie does? The similar situation. Not with those rolls. <laughs> yeah, I need to roll uh, uh, maybe I, I'll roll on my turn and see <laughs> see how I do. I wonder if primordial might be a language we would have in common. I speak infernal. But that's not the language that Scott just said, which I have already yeah. forgotten Ignan. the name of. Ignan. You need to speak Ignan Frito in Ignan. order to... Uh, mm. It only speaks one language. It only speaks one language. Okay. The Thank language of love. <laughs> Sorry. Um, fire. All right. Well, I I'm don't fire. understand it. <laughs> I love fire. I'm going to aim a crossbow... Love is a burning thing. ...at, this, at the, the doodad right. behind Omlal. Crossbow <laughs> bolt, not the not the crossbow. I'm not throwing my crossbow at, <laughs> at anything. And you're, um, you're firing at the uh, the armored doodad or the flame priest. The flame priest. Okay. No. Oh. You, you no. Mean, the no 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 the armored doodad behind Alm Wall. Okay. Uh. Yeah. That was a one to hit. That will miss. You're, yeah, I'm you're assuming you don't have inspiration. Bolt oh, no. shatters against the column right there, right next to Regdar. He's like, ah, I'm cowering over yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm cowering here. <laughs> See? Sounds, sounds just like him. All right, well, I'm going to go hide behind this pillar. I'm going to take take a move out of Regdar's book. <laughs> hide behind this pillar. Hope that it gives There's me a little bit, of, tiny bit of, of cover. Yes, this room is well equipped with pillars. All uh, right. So let's I know see fireball's going to go around corners, but can it go around pillars? <laughs> there are no the corners question. on pillars. That's what we're here to <laughs> find out. Yeah, not a single corner. A pillar is like an infinite corner. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, well, uh, unfortunately, this guy does have one more fireball, oh, yeah. and it seems like this is the time that you would want to use a fireball. So, um, I'm glad I haven't gone yet. <laughs> And he you're, will. You're, you have fire resistance anyway. That's true. So everyone, so oh, Carlos, Umlal, Shara, and Regdar will all be enveloped in a fireball. All right. As is the Afridi, but he does not seem to care for some reason. Well, I uh, I'm being very dexterous today, but I still, of course, take half damage. Yeah, I rolled a fifteen. Critical right. success. Woo-hoo. Nice. So I take no damage, Unfor- right, Scott? Unfortunately, uh, just the same as every other success. <laughs> What's half damage? Uh, mm. What's full damage? Mystery. 31 is full damage. Oh. Ouch. So half damage, half damage is 15. Ow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Glad I saved. <laughs> I will say, Regdar is bloody. Does anyone remember what Amlal said his points were at last time? It was a number that was... It was 16. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And now it's the Razor Blast turn. Uh, <laughs> Might have been a little uh, early to celebrate that one hit. Oh, point. I wasn't celebrating. That <laughs> okay. panicked cry laughing. Uh, he will... Uh, well, we'll say 50-50, because you're both here. So uh, low will be Carlos. So he will attack Carlos. 
and then Umlal, and then Carlos. All Wait, right, what? so two on Carlos and one on Umlal. Wait a second. Uh, good news. Uh, when a creature within five feet of you makes an attack against a target other than you, I can use my reaction to make a melee weapon attack against the attacking creatures. I'm going to hit them. Uh, well, <laughs> Go down he, fight. He's going he's gonna to attack you first. Let's see if he hits. He misses. Uh, and now he will attack uh, Carlos. So you can attack him. Uh, 15. 15 will miss. Fudge. Uh, does a 19 hit Carlos? It does. And Carlos, you get hit and you take, uh, let's see, six points of damage and another six points of fire damage. So 12 total. Okay. Uh, and Zatasha, things oh, are looking boy. grim for your, yeah. your group. I can't actually get close enough to Amal to heal, so sorry about that. I am not that fast. 15. I can get into the room. How, you said the ceiling was a, like a big dome? Yes. How how tall is it? And I'm looking, I'm, I'm flying, so I'm just curious if there's anything up on the ceiling that could be helpful. A cute little like nook that I could just like perch in. <laughs> um, the, it is a smooth domed ceiling that uh, is, uh, we would say, uh, forty feet high. At forty its feet. It's like, a, <laughs> it's like a lava lava dome, lava tube. All right. Well, I'm. I guess I'll go instead of going to the right. Beyond I lava to the left dome. So that there's a pillar. <laughs> Enter the lava dome. And the giant thing. Um. Wow, Amla looks like he's probably gonna gonna go down soon. So let's see. Oh, I guess I can't from here. I will use command to attack or command to strike. So Amla, please wait. Did you, you already use your reaction though this turn? Didn't I you? Did just, just use it? Yes. Okay, I didn't. Carlos, please use your reaction <laughs> <gasps> to strike at. How bad does the uh, the big guy look? Like. Are we almost, have they whittled him down or? Uh, he uh, certainly has some uh, slashes in his chest. He uh, does not seem to be overly concerned. Should I be making like an arcana or perception check to see if there's anything I notice in this room <laughs> as I fly in? Would you like to make an arcana I would like or perception to. check? <laughs> yeah, actually, I mean, that's probably a good idea to just make a perception check uh, to see what's going on here. I got a 16. Uh, you uh, notice that you think that there there are some tapestries on the walls that are of fine value. Uh, the altar appears as though you were kind of in the they were in the midst of some sort of ritual. Um, that's about all you. What's notice. on the altar? Uh, a bowl that has some fire in it at the moment. Ooh, a firewall. And that's it. There's not. There's no other like it. implements or anything. No. Um. Like, would knocking that bowl off of the table, <laughs> would that be helpful <laughs> or not? Sure. Can I even do that from... Nope, now, you would away. say you would... Uh, you have been in a couple of elemental nodes before, and this does not appear to be grand enough to be where they are summoning nope. their, um, you know, their overlord. This is just like the break room. How is this guy doing, the armored fellow? Is, does he look like he's closer to death than the... The, the huge guy? Um, nobody has hit the armored fellow. Yeah, he's so. uninjured. Oh, okay. <laughs> gotcha. I, con- I like that our continuing to look for good news in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> Mainly full of... He does news. have a uh, congenital heart defect, but you don't know that. Oh, whoa. <laughs> wow. 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 What a way for him wow, to find dark. out. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm- Is that why he's got an opening in his torso? That's no, it's, it's, it's it. radical cardiac intervention. Wow. Huh, and everybody is just like aligned in a way that uh, I am. I'm actually going to cast a wind stream on the the big guy. I'm basically just going to uh, send a line of focused air straight through him, um, so that it uh, from here, so that it is does not hit uh, Carlos or Amal. All right, and I don't know what this is. So tell me if I need to do something. Nope. Uh, let's see. As an action, you create a line of focused airs 30 feet long, 5 feet wide. Each creature in that area must make a strength saving throw. Um, and then taking some damage. 
um, and being knocked prone or half damage on a successful save. That's uh, it rolled an 18. That will probably make it. That will make it. But half damage is still damage. Let's see if I can roll better this time. 48. 48. 16. Is so that halved? That is not halved. So okay. that's that was a waste of some points. I should, <laughs> should have had somebody hit. Oh, well. Oh, no. It is, it is buffeted by wind. And does mm-hmm. that mean that the winds of change are blowing across this battle and are, the tides will turn as the moon of opportunity crests for our party? <laughs> or does this spell fiery doom? For a glass angels. Are we, Find out next time. Are we an astrology podcast now? Is that what happened? <laughs> That's right. The moon, the, the, I don't know. I don't know any astrology the terms. Is, the moon so. is in salamanders right now. <laughs> oh, that's, no. That's, that's right. a bad yes. place for the moon. That shouldn't uh, keep your moon there. That's right. Find out next time if the moon exits the salamander on Total Party Kill.